so this is the new one from Hot Audio. This is the second, so that's my old vent in there. They look pretty similar. I'm trying to notice any differences, but I don't. Uh, there's a little bit different style of this look versus how that looks. And these are, it looks bigger. And on this side, there's a little ridge on the Seikane. There's not a ridge on the Hot Audio. And this has these deep points here, whereas these were smaller and not as defined. So, uh, hopefully this one's a better product. We'll see. Alright, so I did notice a distinct difference. Uh, as you notice, there's one, two, three, four clips on Seikane, and Hot Audio only has one, two, three. I guess because the other clip is built into the head unit piece. Alright, now I'm just going to take this guy out. Or you just push down on this top piece here. A little nub you push down and then it twists. Pops right out. So, this guy you got to push down. Alright, be very careful about how you put it in because it's a huge pain to get out because some of these are different sizes than the others. Alright, same deal with these guys. I don't know if it matters which one's left or right. I try to keep them straight from when I remove it, but that's it. They just go right in like that. All right. See the channels there and the holes here. It's pretty easy. this one up I took out the previous version. I didn't know what I was doing the first time. This time I think I do. You can see a little tab there catches them. Alright, so just need one more two more little clampies. So I lost some before. I ordered them. I'll put the part number up. I think it'll be fine. Adjust these handful. And I'll replace them with new ones when I get them. This part goes right into the steering wheel. It's pretty easy to pop out. Technically I don't think you need it in there so it'll be fine without it. So you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on this side, one, two, three, four on that side, so fourteen. <coughs> and then of course, one, two, three, four, so eighteen total. I ordered twenty-five more, it should do me pretty good. Alright, now we'll get to the install. Well, let me go ahead and put these wires in. Pretty easy figure out this white piece go to this white piece tab on top should slip right in there nice solid connection this black piece goes into here these are always kind of a pain to get in don't know why same scenario with join and say came Also, the interesting is I don't know which one I should use for my center console. Alright, so USB, F, or B. So B is the 
small one here. The only one that's gonna fit. It should fit. There we go. Didn't build on super smooth, but it works. And then the other one. This big leg got F second from the right. E F. So that should be this guy here. Nope. This guy. Hey, second. So alright, so F's right below B, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. These are all pretty long, so. Alright, and then. This guy goes to what? Auxiliary. And that is. D, which is on the far right. Right here. These do not go in very well. I will say that. Uh, I bought this on Amazon. I told you in another video I'm planning on putting a front camera in. And it should put these guys up here. This is just a extension, basically. Male side, female side. So, again. Red to red. White to white. And we got two yellows. So one is... Auxiliary video in, which I'm assuming is this guy. And then this guy is Cam Ben, so I'm hoping that's the backup camera. Right. And then just like last time, what say Kane? I don't use any of these, so I'm not gonna hook them up. A lot of waste of space. Alright, so that should do me for now. Uh, come back in a second. Alright, so this is the 2016 Jeep Wrangler. I've got everything pulled apart. Uh, you can see this is your... Turn this light on. So, this is being filled on my Huawei Mate 9, if anyone cares. This is uh, the Jeep connection. This goes to the Jeep components, of course. This is my backup camera, Brand Motion. Obviously, this is the window controls. This is a Metra adapter for the AM FM antenna. The hot audio comes in its own but I'm going to use that one so I already have it. As you can see super professionally taped. This is also my adapter for the Jeep uh, GPS. So it allows me to reuse the Jeep's GPS with my radio. Uh, so I'll put a link to that description as well. You can use the the hot audio one, but uh, I like this one. So everything's taken apart here. I'm gonna run the antenna uh, up here, or not the antenna, the microphone up here, down the A pillar, back through here, and it'll come out here. Right? Oh, and what we got? This guy. Uh, so I had another video where I'm putting the this goes to the console USB. And I have another video where I explain how to do that. If you have a question, uh, just put in the comments and I'll link the video. Alright, so first thing I want to do is run the microphone. Pretty simple task. This guy here. Until at this point, it's just to run it, make sure it works. I'm not going to use this 3M tape at first because I want to make sure it works. Let's see, the microphone comes out, but I don't want to tape it down until I actually know it works. Real simple. Just gonna, you don't have to do this part, but that's how I like to have it. I've had two different ones here, and it works pretty good in this location, or three different ones, really. First step is just going to be tucking it in here, down through here, and then back in this piece. 
goes in there. Really simple, like almost no effort. It's a little tight right in here. Other than that, it's fine. And there's no resistance back there, it's just tucked in. Works fine. Let me put this part. Put this part in here and it will come out here. So first thing I do is just tuck this in. Turn on this light. Should be able to see it back in here. So let me see, it's in here. Mm. Possibly. There you go. See that movement there. So this part is moderately tricky. All I try to do is just stuff them up wire in there, and then I can kind of get my finger in there and pull it out uh, this part I'm going to need two hands for Simply, just gonna run it back through here. There you go. See him popped out. And just like that. Boom. And then it tucks in nice and neat behind the instrument cluster. Just like that. Alright, so I'm gonna take this guy, put my hand in here. Alright, so now it's fairly easy to see. I don't know how much it comes out in the video, but you can see up in there where it comes out of. Pretty easy, you can see there's plenty of room. I got my finger in here. Okay. Alright, so there, real simple. Got your microphone ready to go. Alright, so let me pause it. Alright, so now I've got all my parts in here. Alright, got the head unit, frame. Uh, take this guy out, you just slide this little red piece. You kind of need to do this before you take the whole dash out. I'll just have mine in here for reasons. That is a little warm, so I'm going to rub down the windows before I take this out. Hopefully it doesn't start raining. Oh, so, it's a little red piece you can see. Slide it up, squeeze here, and it should pop right up. Alright, so now I'll try to put this guy in first, see how that goes. Oh, 
Alright, that's a little trick. I don't know why, but if the steering wheel's down, it doesn't really fit right, but it does seem to fit better if I get the steering wheel that way. Alright, so I'm gonna try a couple things here. We gotta do some tests. First thing I'm gonna try to do is the purple USB to my console USB. We gotta hope that works. This guy around the right way. These are the USBs. We'll hook up, but first I'm just gonna make sure it works. So this is my. Well, let's see. All right, so the camera. Try the camera. Input this one. Input that says Cam Ben. I assume Ben's video in. All right, and then we're going to plug in the antenna and GPS. And then once I plug this guy in, it should have power, and that should be all I need to test it. Of course, I'm going to test it, make sure I got sounds and whatnot before I start plugging everything in. And let me go. Close it. Alright, so let's give it a shot. Question is, does it actually there we go? Seems to be powering up. Let me turn off this light. Alright, so nice cheap logo. Alright, so that part seems to be working. So let's first thing we'll do is check the radio to see if I got sound. I do got sound. Uh, and the steering wheel controls seem to work right off the bat. So on the right hand side, the rear, on the right hand side of the steering wheel, the rear seems to go down and the up goes. So let's see. New SD card detected. Where is that? Oh, no one did do this button. Nope. Well, I don't know where unless it has this one built into it. But you can see also the RDS works. Right. So let's try the left hand side and see if up does anything. It appears to change stations as down stuff. All right. So let's back out of here. All right. Settings. Alright, so it's looks, looks like a combination almost between the join and the say canes. Interesting. Uh, about machine. Android version. MCU version MPCD. It's like the old school guys. Alright, so let's just see. GPS, okay. Let's see if my GPS is working. It's connected. That's good. And so there's a lot of stuff here. What's that vehicle do? I wonder if it does what the uh, Seiko would do. Yeah, no, it doesn't show anything when the door's open. That's alright, I guess. Uh, let's see. I find it very odd, this interface. I don't think I like it. Uh, let's see. Settings. Oh, okay. Alright, so now I need to check their storage. So, I've used one gig out of the internal, and somehow there's an 8 gig GPS slot. I don't know where that is. So, uh, what I need to do now is see if that USB works for my. I have a. Samsung 64 gigabyte micro USB card. Alright, micro. 
Not my short sweet, uh, SD card. Not SD card. Thumb drive. One of these days I'll get that right. Alright, so I just plugged it in. We'll see if it recognizes it, and it does. Alright, so that's good. So, as long as it uses this USB. Oh, there we go. So that's the interface there. Alright, so as long as it recognizes this USB, and it does, it looks like it should be able to hold uh, information. So that's good. Alright, so let's go. Let's try the music player. That way. Let's make sure my volume works. Uh, let's rock. There we go. So this is my SD card. Or my USB thumb drive. Let's see if it recognizes the songs on there. Right now all I'm going to do is just check to make sure my speakers work. At that point, we're good to go. I got actually mounted, of course, but uh, the hard part, the concerning part is over. I would like to know where this GPS SIM card is, or SD card is. Well, doesn't seem to be recognizing that. It's not good. Uh, oh, that's weird. Huh. Well, where's my app switcher button? Does it not have one? Nope, that's the brightness. Huh. Well, don't like that. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be a problem. I don't know what's... What the hell? Uh, nope. There we go, that guy. That's what I was looking for. I'm just gonna get rid of some of this stuff, I guess. Right, so there he is. Alright, so... Uh, now let's try music again. And we'll go over here. We'll look for our USB and see if it recognizes it. What we're saying here for transferring. There we go. So it is recognizing it. Alright, so I just need to get rid of these icons and that will allow me to get back to my. No. Settings. No. There we go. Alright, so let's hear some little bobbing on this one. What do I do? I need to make this thing go away. I should have my switcher. Alright. So there's our mark. And please. Alright. So our mark works. Alright. So now let's find my equalizer. Alright. So I don't know how much of that was missed out on. Uh, so it does look like the settings here seem to work. Go. There's a little bit of delay for switching, but it does work. Yeah. So that works. Very different. buttons do. So, this one does nothing. Alright, so this button brings up your phone now, so that makes sense. Is this dumb interface? Doesn't they seem to be a way to go to like an app screen? Alright, let's see if the middle middle nub button does. Changes your source. That makes sense. So let's go back to TV, radio. Let's go back to music. There we go. Let's try the middle button on the left hand side. Also, 
seems to do nothing. I just changed it this, so that's dumb. Alright. Hopefully I can fix all that. Uh, Alright, so, oh, let's make sure my camera works. Let's put it in reverse. And boom, we got a camera. So, alright. I think I should be good now to go ahead and button it all up. So, let me turn this guy off. It'll be interesting to see what happens. That's what I was looking for. So that is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You like how cool it looks? All right. So maybe I'll take this. There we go. So now let's find somewhere to stick all this stuff. Is there even a place? That's a good question. Glad I asked. First, I gotta run these cords out of the way. So, you don't have to do this. I'm just running these extended cords out here. I'm running these extended cords into my glove box. Uh, glove box is super easy to get out of there. Maybe not when you're holding another radio in your lap. down very easy. Now to get these out of my way, I'm going to put these cords Alright, so there is my RCA cords out of the way. Out of the way, and now I've got two extra USB cords to stick in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those ones. Maybe something cool. Yeah. Actually, don't even need those really, but this might as well stick them in there now. Alright, so I am gonna put these under this guy. Makes more sense. Just the one poor cable management. Alright. So same deal with this guy. Alright. So get you out of the way of my cords here. Take you do it this way. Alright, got this. So uh, mine did not come with this Wi-Fi antenna. I stole it from my Seikane one, but I'm going to contact Honda Neo and hopefully they'll send me a proper one. Alright. Oh, I need to plug my microphone in, don't I? Alright. Really easy to see. It goes in. Alright, so that will go on the bottom. See where I plug that in. Everything should be nice and tight. Alright, so now here comes the most unpleasant part. Sure, we'll be trying to get all this stuff in here. Oh, that's why I was throwing out one. Be just like my previous Seikane. I can't do these individually. I don't think. I think I'll need to install everything at once. Maybe. Well, let's see. Does not appear to be going in. Get all this stuff out of the way. This guy up here. Yeah, I'm 
think I'm in the same boat as I was last time. I'll need to kind of make all this into one piece. Attach him in some capacity. Alright, so the first company that makes this all in one piece is going to be the winner because this part is the worst. Oh, wait a second. It kind of slips in there. So, maybe they did make a better piece. Alright, clearly should have made this before I brought it into the Jeep. So, yeah. That slides in there pretty good. So, alright. I think I need to undo this stuff, I guess. Oh, maybe I can do it. Taking all this out. This is gonna really suck to reattach all this stuff. But particularly there's only one way to do it. So here's the key to this. I believe. You can see that little groove there goes in this hole here and it kind of just slants in there so we can do that guy yeah, so if you do this if you try to slot that in there like this first it does appear Kind of kind of line them all up at the same time, and then slot this guy in there to really seal the deal. Alright. So at that point, it appears a bit more sturdy. So now let me try to carry all this in. Alright, so now I'll have it all assembled in one piece. I'm going to try to redo these guys. That's the cam that'll cause some problemos. Right, auxiliary input was D, which is the top right. Okay. Part 
full split right above that one. So this is the worst part, trying to make sure this connects. back in got my GPS reconnected I already got my Wi-Fi connected now I just need to connect the main power of the head unit alright so now get some of the wiring out of the way here Steady motion. Get my fencing. So, try and get this all in one. Steady motion. It's not working too great. All right, crap. Of course, did not hook back up my microphone. So now, can I get this out? Oh, I'm falling apart. And hook up my microphone. bones about it this sucks alright so now we'll try to put all these wires out of the way of the air conditioning out of the way of the window controls up here and One more piece of this puzzle. Last time I had to stick the top on. Well, no, I don't think that's the case because I don't see where it is. That needs to go. Oh, uh, unless that tucks in. So far, it does seem to hold together better than the Seikane did, but I also haven't got it fully connected yet, so Seikane did eventually magically work, so let's hope this guy also magically works.
so I apologize, but I really could not get that. And the camera quit recording. Really scratched up my dash a little bit, but you can see it fits pretty good. It's a little gap there. It's pretty good here. Pretty good here. And it's train wreck inside there. Alright, I'm gonna make sure everything still works. Alright, let's turn this guy off. AC going because it's not hard to breathe in here. 75 outside apparently, but I can assure you it's definitely 900 degrees in here. So, uh, make no bones about it. It sucks to install this guy, but I will say it does seem a little easier to install than the Sega King, or it could just be I'm more used to it, but uh, it seems like a pretty good install here. Now, I don't think this guy goes in as good. Maybe I messed that up. I don't really care at this point. Because it was a pretty awful install. So, maybe I was supposed to put that on the first time. I don't know. Don't care though, really, because. Uh, I'll figure that out later. Uh, yeah, it probably was supposed to go in first. That would explain. I don't know how, though, because it's such a huge pain in the rear to get that in, in the first place. Alright, it's fine by me. No one, anyone cares. I do not. But if you're super OCD, you might care that that sticks up a little bit. It could probably be done better. Uh, but it looks like But yeah, I'd say the way to go is definitely to Put the whole piece together before you put it in there All right So let's just make sure everything still works camera works well And let me turn the light out Let's see if radio works lot of stuff on here. I think I'm going to do a wipe like I generally do. Alright, radio. Can you dig it? Look. I just need the news All right, so. so where do I turn? Local radio and TV. I want to hear from people who live and work in my town. They give me the real story with information I know I can rely on. So I don't know what that does. I don't know where the community. settings are. Weather huh. and traffic, things that affect my family and oh. my business. I want to stay informed by sources I trust. My local radio and... Well, uh, like I said, I don't know that this is good, but... I don't listen to the radio. If you watch any of my videos, you know. Well, that sounds clear. So, alright, so we're good there, I guess. Alright, so, check the radio, we check that. Uh, I think we're generally pretty good. I will go through a factory wipe. Alright, so let's see what's all on here first. Bluetooth, Bluetooth music, radio, video. Uh, this garbage. And a bunch of stuff there, don't care about. Alright, so, uh, assuming I have the password, let's just go to. Yeah, look, there's an actual Bluetooth icon. Let's see if it does the full version or it takes you to the other one. Yeah. Uh, I think this is a little better, so we'll see. Alright, so, let's just go to backup and reset. And we'll do factory data reset. Uh, Alright, machines. Erase everything. Reset machine. Alright, erase everything. Let's see. Uh, 
I'm not gonna screw everything back in until I know that it actually works. Should take a bit because uh, it's a reset. Right. Cool little Android guy. I'm just taking some pictures here. While I'm filming. Oh, that's a pretty. Well, I don't know. I think it'll stick on this screen, right? I've done so many of these recently. I'm getting to be like an expert at resetting Chinese Android radios. Uh, so yeah. Let's go back to the fit and finish while we're waiting for this little gap there. But again, I haven't screwed it in. I haven't uh, done my classic mash the shit out of it to see if that works and even if it doesn't work that gap I can live with I wonder what that is is that an actual micro SD card in there or not because my I don't know what that is I will try to poke at it oh uh, for those of you that do this install I should have said this first you'll need this uh, tool here like a pry tool of some sorts and just a real basic uh, seven millimeter socket, right? Yeah, seven millimeter socket. Real simple install. All right, removal. Anyhow, let's see if anything is in here, shall we? Let's see what happens. I'll push on that. Absolutely nothing. So I don't think that comes out. I don't know what it is, but does not appear to come out. It must be just the internal GPS or something that they're referring to. Just gonna reset in there. Tell you what, while I'm waiting for this to go on, I will show you something. This is the dumbest thing, but it's super cool. This uh, is called Cell Cup, right? It's squeezable foam. Has these two holes. It's right in the perfect in the cup holder. And you put your cell phone in this slot here. And it's cushioned. You can put an ink pen there if you want, but who cares about that? But you can put a cell phone in here and it holds it just right. Uh, yeah, so the thing's awesome. So if you're wondering how to hold your cell phone, I do this and I slip my phone right there. I'm good to go. Now you are in trouble when you need a copy and a cool refreshing Perrier and your phone being held then you got a problem but at that point I just leave the phone in my pocket take this guy out and throw him over here somewhere now you can see where I ran these extra USB cords and uh, these guys and we're still factory resetting I will say I'm gonna want to change that launcher because I don't like it and actually now that I got I'm gonna go ahead and hook this guy back up because I got my air on and my windows down and that don't make no sense does it right, so this guy I don't know real simple I'll push that little red switch over that we saw earlier and I'll roll up back windows that should quiet up this video some. Alright. But I'm not gonna snap it back in until I screw it down. Actually I may have regretted that because I'll have to screw that in. And he's got so screw there. Screw back there. And there's another one right up there. Those three screws and you're good to go. Uh, I'll show this later but you see I have my sync up and drive sync up drive from uh, t-mobile gets me up ever present hotspot yeah so a little gap there that may once you start screwing things down it may work better uh oh did i turn it off or is it just fixing itself so let's see yeah i turned the screen off by pushing that button 
Well, I guess the... Uh, oh, yeah, and I'll pull this guy off, and it'll look a lot nicer. I got nervous when I pulled out of the box. I thought it was all scratched up, but that's just the plastic screen. Uh, still waiting for this. I did remove these guys. Up here, those little warning labels, and the guy that was here, and the ones that were on the passenger side. A little bit of residue left on this one. I used a Q-tip and 90% rubbing alcohol, but came off pretty good. I just need to clean up some more. I might try to hit some goo gone or something. Get the hell there. And while we're still waiting, this guy is a UVS 100 Sunshade and I love it. I buy one for every vehicle I've ever had. And it's thick. It keeps the sun off. Fit perfectly to your windshield. It's pretty great. And this is taking forever. I could pause it, or I could do a time lapse, but I feel like if you're watching this video, you should see how painful this is. So you'll appreciate how much effort I put in there. Super effort. Yeah. So something's not right about this guy, but I'll figure that out later. Right now it's eight o'clock. Worked all day already. And I got so excited when this came in, I had to get it done right away. But, I'll probably be ordering an external amplifier. Uh, it's a very niche product, I'd say, because it's going to be the addition of an amp and DSP to my Kicker VSS system. I got essentially got half the system, I'll be buying the other half. It's very expensive, I'm probably going into something cost fallacy, but... It could sound incredible. All right, here we go. Now we're in business. Let me turn this light off. All right, let's focus on there. Improve location accuracy. Of course, I want to improve location accuracy. So every join does this, so this sounds about right. I'll turn that on, and let's see what our home screen looks like. Yep, still this terrible stuff. All right, so nothing major seemed to change there. Stick with this GPS card and setup. We'll use this portable storage. Don't even know what that, where it is. Uh, don't need that. Uh, this guy's good to go. Wipe him away. All right, so I already liking that. Now, all right. So, at this point, I think we're good to go. As far as the install goes, I'll make a full overview. Let me go ahead and button it up, I guess, so you can see how that looks. So, I got a whole bunch of screws. I'm only going to be using three, because I don't need the four that went back there, of course. Alright, so, all right, I'm going to take this guy back out, because... <laughs> Look at that. Don't even know how I got there. Here's a guy. Use this trusty guy to undo this thing. Undo the red, press the button, and we got two hands instead of one hand. It pops right out. Alright, so now we're just getting that screw there cleared up. Alright, so we got this guy. Real simple. in one of my other videos I made a couple of videos that I never posted because they didn't turn out very well so I'm pretty sure one of my videos shows how to take apart the dash but if I don't there's about 5,000 other videos on YouTube that show you how to do that so I think it'll be alright without seeing my taking the dash apart is the easy part way easy part I mean you can do that in 20 minutes if that the Un easy part. That's proper English. 
that really sucks is getting this guy in here. But if it works, it works, and then it's worth it, right? screwed in. Now let's get this other guy screwed in. Connected. Should be looking pretty good. This guy's still a little funky, but we're just gonna deal with that for now. And I'll fix that in a second. Alright, so let's go back to this guy. Let's see what happens when I turn my lights on. Boom, blue lights. Let's see. There you go, blue lights. I bet there's a way to adjust that in the settings. Vehicle does nothing speed information. There's no indication of the original car amplifier. I don't know the way that does. So, alright. It's always fun with these guys. You gotta figure out what does what. All I'm looking for now is I'm gonna try to change these colors. Uh, I will connect to my home Wi-Fi. I have a guest network called Stranger Danger. Alright, so I connected to my home Wi-Fi Stranger Danger. I'm about, I don't know, I'm in my driveway, so 10, 15 feet from my router. Uh, Google, on hub, it's a pretty solid router. Alright, so I'm on my guest network, no problems there. Let's go through, and let's just make sure there's no sneaky administrators on here. Uh, let's go to. Oh, I need passwords for those guys. Alright, accounts. No accounts on there? That's good. And security. Let's look at device administrators. Nope, nobody except for Android Device Manager, which I want anyhow. Alright, in case any of you all worried about your uh, head unit getting stolen, having your Google account, if you have Android Device Manager set up, you should be able to remotely wipe it. No problem. Alright, unknown source is turned off as well. It's all looking good. Alright, and let's check our date and time. It's 806. It seems to know that all already by itself. Automatically, that's good. It has a date automatically. Oh, it's on China Standard Time. I'm on China Standard Time. We are Eastern Time. Let's see. Central Daylight. Eastern Daylight. No, Eastern Standard. Stop that. Not 24 hour. There we go. I would like to see PM up here. So I don't have to. Yeah, so I think. Oh, I know what you want to see. Let's go to About Machine. Don't know if wireless update works. Let's see if it has one. That is bright. Look at that. If that works, huh, if that actually works, then this is head and shoulders above the other guys because neither Seikain nor Joying has that ability. System updates does nothing. MC update does nothing. Alright. Uh, well, that's not great, but better than I think the Seikain was like 2015, so uh, hopefully we can get that updated. Let's just see if we get our little marshmallow guy. Yep. Yeah. And we got this dumb game. Which I did not do great at. And I am not playing that stupid game. Alright, so. August 7th, 2017 of the MCU. 
Uh, let's see. Build number. All right, I'd like to see that Android security patch get a little better, but for now we're okay, I guess. Uh, let's see if I can get in factory settings. Nope. Let's try that super bright 126 used to work on the old joints. Yep. Seems like it works here too. Sweet. All right. So, all right. Here's where we change our car logo. Radio. Let's make sure I see it set to Europe. So that explains why it probably didn't sound as good. Let's try America One. We'll apply that. Voice. Don't know what that is. Let's change some different volumes. Can bus. Huh. That's on a 30 Chrysler Bagoo, obviously. Don't know what that is. I'm not going to mess with it. Key study. Button panel reset. Oh, so you can probably reset these guys. Uh, so I'm not, I might change this guy to the app switcher if I can figure that out. Let's old other do. Model. Radio RDS on. Auto search. Brightness. Front camera. Steering wheels, panel type. <laughs> I don't know what let's just set. Uh, let's set our boot default volume to ten. I should blow my eardrums out, hopefully. Prohibit reverse enable, I don't know what that does. And you can change your amp settings if need be. I'll probably need to do that whenever I actually hook up an external amp. Alright. And I don't know what. Let's just apply that. Exit. Hope you don't make me out. Machine is need reboot. If anyone had an old Joy MCZ that has that. Machine is need reboot. Pretty great. I'm going to take a picture of that because it's funny. And the machine does need reboot, so let's just make sure reboot this machine. Alright, so let's see how much a full reboot takes you. Well, I've never lost power. Jeep's running, of course. Uh, Jeep logo. So the real test will be tomorrow whenever I go to work. Turn the Jeep off in the morning and come back for lunch. I don't want to sit through this 20 30 second reboot. I guess if I was smart, I would have time to go in here, but I don't. So that's not terrible, but again, I don't want to do that every time. So let's go to settings again. Uh, let's try extra settings. Let's see what we got here. Shut down delay when ACC off. Oh, you dirty. Well, let's try auto sleep. Alright. So I'll give this a shot. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be unhappy. Alright, powering off. Door open. It did come back on. So uh again. Could be nothing. I'm hoping that auto sleep is what I really want it to be. But we'll find out tomorrow and I'll have to update this. Reversing X mirror, that would be changing your guy. Alright, so I don't need this. I'll reverse the volume, I do one. Uh, let's go with six. Oh, there we go. That's how you get your lines. I should have lines now, right? Nope. No lines. That didn't work. Alright, so let's try. There, reverse rear wheeler. Now, I should have lines. There we go, and now I bet when I turn my wheel, well, trajectory doesn't seem to work, but I don't need it. Yes, my camera does not have lines, so it's cool to be able to add them or turn them off if I don't want them. Right. That's not what I do. Alright, so we're steering wheel controls. Yeah, so I thought, so that sucks, I can't remap these guys. See, I'll push this button. Doesn't do anything. So I'm pushing this guy. Well, you can't see. Uh, I can learn to live with that, I guess. Steering wheel keys, extra settings, driving settings. Let's look for element. There we go. 
There we go. There we go. That's the nice, sweet Jeep color, right? That's too green. This is the perfect. So there we go. That's the uh, win. It looks pretty similar. I don't know how much you can see that here. Probably not very well at all. Yeah. So that's about as good as you're going to. So the first join I ever had really matched these colors perfect. So the, talking about these colors. Let's see. The colors that show on this guy should match this guy and these guys, right? Uh, and does not show on this camera at all. But trust me, it looks pretty close. So that's cool. Uh, and you can change it wherever you want. Like, you know, if you want to make it red, it's red. Make it purple. Make it yellow, white. You can do whatever you want. Make it crazy colors. You know, that actually looks pretty good. I think we'll leave it like that. Pretty close, really. Alright, we can make sure our memory's working. So, total memory 2 gig, 39%. Use 1.2 gig free. Alright, so that's good. And let's just check our other total storage to be sure. 26, that's fine. Closing up 32, and then I got 64 gig there, right? So, alright, so all this looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna finish setting it up, and then I'll make an overview video. Oh man, I didn't realize that was out of focus. Alright, so. Memory where I checked that, right? So. I feel like I got everything right. Navigation settings, it's just setting your navigation app. Alright, so. Uh, for now, that looks pretty good. Oh, driving things is weird. So yeah, we're allowed to watch videos, of course. Uh, what's that? That way I can watch movies all day while I'm driving around like a dangerous maniac. Let's make sure the video works. I should have some videos on this card. Set this guy on this on my thumb drive, not my card. I should add these are legally acquired videos. How about that? Yeah. yeah, so that works. Alright. So, gotta figure out this terrible launcher, but for now, looks pretty good. Alright, so I will give him an overview later.